hey hello all my name is satyendra and today we are going to discuss about the 188 course that is red hat open shift development part 1 uh, introductions to containers with portman okay so now inside this what we have especially we are talking about that uh, course curriculum especially the course descriptions course outline and other details like uh, how you guys can go for the course uh, course details and uh, how you can achieve your certification that is ex188 okay when we are talking about the training the red hat code for the do188 so that is do188 okay and for the examination that is ex188 okay and uh, inside this actually we are uh, simple uh, talking about the uh, containers with portman what is portman and all those things okay and also we'll discuss about uh, the student to building running and managing the containers with the portman and the red hat open shift container platform okay so this um, course is specially for the development right uh, that uh, they can manage and um, uh, especially they can manage the container based application through the hands on lab and d188 course is um, based on your rhl 8.6 version and open shift container platform 4.0 version 4.10 version specially okay now so what we have inside this actually course content when we when we are talking about the course content and uh, course description specially okay so this like uh, we have a uh, introductions part okay so when we talking about the content we have introductions of portman okay so introductions of portman and uh, the first thing we are discover first containers and then all those things okay second we have uh, like run containers okay with portman this in moment and uh, then so these are like a chapter then we are going to discuss in this uh, training when we talking about the training and other uh, other in moment and then we'll discuss about the build and custom containers images like how we can create our own or customize our own containers images okay then uh, we'll discuss about that uh, how we can manage the container images so manage we can say containers images okay and uh, the next we are talking about the remote debugging the next topic we have we can say so that is a remote uh, debugging uh, debugging simple we can say that is uh, for the troubleshooting okay so debugging with containers how we can troubleshoot our containers application that running in the pods and all those things so we can how we can troubleshoot or manage those things especially debugging and uh, then we are talking about the networking the basic networking in the container especially okay that's a like most important topic in the open shift environment and uh, then we have a uh, persist we can say like uh, for the storage we are using these technologies so we can say persist data with containers these are topics for the same okay and uh, next what we have that how we can run multiple containers or we have like a, we can topic the same we can say run a multi container this let me written on here applications Okay. and at the end what we have especially we are talking about the troubleshooting this like a last chapter of your uh, environment we are talking about the troubleshooting part okay the tr troubleshooting containers deployment okay <coughs> okay and at the end we are talking about the open shift container so this like a total nine chapter is there actually but yeah we can go for the chapter number 10 as well so that is uh, arc sessions uh, container with open shift and uh, kubernetes so that is also you can say arc sessions <coughs> so arc session or arc straight we can say container okay with open shift and kubernetes okay so these are a chapter that we are going to cover in this particular uh, d188 180 course the first we are about like introductions of the containers and then we talking about the 
uses of compartment, how we can run those things, and advantage of the compartments, and we, we are also talking about the difference between the Docker and compartment. Then we have a like option, then how we can build a custom container images, we can say, then how we can manage the container, then we can um, troubleshoot or remote debugging application kind of thing, then we have a networking part, a lot of things we have that, right, overall that we are going to cover inside this spacely, okay. So for that, what's the requirement we have that simple, uh, that uh, we can say that uh, learner or candidate must know, know, like know that uh, basic Linux command and all those things, okay, especially that uh, who know the basic command and then uh, our overall we can say experience in the use of Linux, terminal sessions and uh, using operating system command and familiar with the shell scripting, let's say like recommendations, okay, but yeah, okay. And also uh, some experience with the web applications, architectures, and their uh, technology, especially. Okay, and for this course, especially for the develop developers and site reliable engineers, right? They are that are like new to containers on technologies. So that's like a very first course of the containers, uh, containers technology, like how we can <coughs> manage our containers, especially with the help of Podman, and then with the help of OpenShift. Okay, now, so when we're talking about the outline spacely, then like these are, uh, we can say, um, we have uh, options for the same. We can use for the descriptions and overview, right? So these are like overview of the course content. When we're talking about the outline, what outline we have that spacely. Okay, so let me just note it down here. So outline for this course. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we are talking about the introductions and overview of the containers, okay. The simple we can say that's our introductions and overview of container, okay. And inside that you are talking about, uh, we can simply say describe spacely, okay. How containers, I just noted down a single single point, okay. So when we're talking about the training sessions, then we will discuss in the deep and deep, I mean deep and dive kind of things, right? But what we learn in the introduction overview of the containers is we're talking about the describe how containers and its applications deploy develop, development part, we can say. Okay. So applications deploy development part. So that's the lacking moment. Okay. And then we are talking about the part one. Basics. Basics means simple, we can say. <coughs> Okay, so inside that we are talking about that how we can manage and run containers with Podman. The basis command we can say how to manage and maintain the systems. Okay, to manage and run containers with Podman. Okay, uh, for now just ignore that Podman. We'll discuss about what is Podman and what is containers wording actually. We'll discuss in the next sections. Okay. This section simple completing about that what curriculum we are going to cover in your uh, DO188 training, okay? And what's the environment that we are going to, uh, I'll, I'll talk this later, like in this next, uh, last of this uh, um, lecture, okay? Like the user exam environment and all those things. Especially we are focusing what content we are going to um, teach in this particular uh, courses, okay? And all the technical terms and then differences, then your lab environment we will discuss in the next videos lecture sessions. Okay, and then we are talking about the containers images that we learn in the uh, that we discuss in the chapter number third. Okay, inside that we are talking about that um, how we can um, uh, navigate our container registries to find and manage the container images. Like you wanted to search any uh, images from any particular private repository kind of thing from the like Red Hat IO, Red Hat .com or something. Docker IO, QO.io, or it might be your own repositories. Okay, so that could be like public or private. So in this chapter, we are talking about how you can navigate, especially, okay, uh, navigate containers, registries <coughs> to find information like what to find and manage container images. Okay, like I wanted to pull any images from the repository. So before pull that, we need to verify 
is that repositories are available or not over this particular system. So then we can search with the help of, we have a command we'll discuss, but we have Podman, we have a Scopio, then we have Vilda. So we'll discuss in the next chapter, but yeah, we will discuss about all these commands in this uh, lecture, especially. Okay. And then we have like persistent storage kind of thing. So we have like persistent data. Inside that we will talk about build, persistent, simple I'm talking about the build, persistent database, okay, especially the storage. And uh, then that we have like containers networking. So what we are going to talk about that because it's like basic networking actually, okay. But yeah, we will discuss in a deep and dive, right? Ki, um, how your um, uh, uh, containers uses the services, like uh, uh, describe the basic container networking part and how to access containerized services. Like for example, you deploy any applications and we want to access that application in publicly. Then how we can access those uh, uh, applications publicly with the help of a URL or that could be a public IPs as well. Okay, so that top that things we are going to discuss in the container networking okay so what we can say inside this we're talking about or we can describe basic containers okay networking and uh, how to access containerized services overall Okay, like for example, when we deploy any applications and when we when we are trying to access those application or services, then how we can access uh, that services. <coughs> okay, that's a like now. What next we have that? Then we are talking about the troubleshoot the content. That's like an important topic for the same. Okay. Then the next we have a troubleshoot. Okay, containers. Okay, so in the troubleshooting, what we especially what we are going to learn that, like uh, when you're trying to configure any applications, right? If your pod is not going to schedule, or that could be might be error or might be stop accidentally, right? Then how we can troubleshoot those services? Okay, so overall analyze the containers logs and configure a remote debugger okay like for example in the real world you guys are, are might be your services running over the uh, any servers right so as a administrator you need to take a remote login and uh, you need to troubleshoot all these problems that are going to inside this particular containers okay so we can say like uh, analyze uh, containers logs and configure a remote debugger Okay, so with the help of this, we can manage all those things. And uh, then uh, again, we have a, like a multi container application with uh, Compose that we have, uh, we just learned earlier. Okay, so we have also the same thing, we can discuss that. So that is like a multi container applications with Compose. Okay. And inside this, the same we are talking about the run multiple applications using the compose and and all those mechanisms. Okay, we'll discuss that as well. Okay, and then we have a last one that is container orchestrations. With Kubernetes, okay, and OpenShift. Okay, so we have like last chapter, they're talking about the what is open shift and how we can manage all those things. Okay, so overall what we have that Again, so we have a this is this is the training code. Okay, and uh, this is for the examinations code. Overall, we have like uh, uh, 10 chapters that that we are going to cover that. Okay, the from the start to uh, end that we are talking about the podman and then docker what what is the issue in the previous command and what the latest in this particular 4.10 versions and so on so on so on okay and uh, we have options for if, and now we are talking about the examination moment what we have that so already we discussed we have ex188 okay so total we have like three hours of examinations total marking is like uh, 300 okay 
uh, and then to pass your exam we need at least 210 just like a passing score okay it's like a environment that you need to um, uh, perform all those tasks and total marking is 300 total and then passing we need at least 210 okay before that 180 uh, 188 uh, we have like 180 but this 180 is now expired okay so who are trying to um, uh, go inside this particular development and especially in the open city moment the first training is that 180 okay and then you can go for the 280 288 and so on so on okay so if i just go through the course cur curriculum from the red hat so that is also properly mentioned if i just show you the red hat um, um ex 188 okay that's like example i'm going to search that okay yeah so that's like course curriculum and all those things so red hat certified especially in the containers especially okay so what we need that at least we need uh, the rscsa like who are that um, uh, pretty nice sound of that red hat basis command and all those things so who can go for the certifications and all those things right prerequisites nothing simple we can say uh, who are experiencing the linux command basic thing right and who also know that how to run those command and uh, the scripting environment file okay then they can go for the um, 188 okay so that's like environment and uh, so we will discuss about the environment as well but not in these sections okay but yeah that's like in moment that we are going to use that right what the uses of portman and how we can deploy all those things how to manage the images and uh, run container local using the portman all those topic we are going to cover inside that in, in this particular training purposes okay and after that uh, uh, certification you guys can go for the others that that's like advanced one like uh, do 280 380 288 and and uh, just like a training so the same thing that is again that is for the uh, training courses exam code and that is for the exam so there is a 280 and uh, 288 okay so this like environment for the uh, 180 just like a most uh, hot environment or we can say especially the hot technology especially environment means yeah as we can say it's a hot technology you guys can go for that yeah so that's like basic thing okay and for the technical world and uh, curriculum we'll discuss about the other different different contents how you can deploy your own container based application in your local machines or over the cloud or might be on your premises we'll discuss about it in the next chapter